Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you, Father, for allowing me to see another wonderful and amazing day. My name is Joyce McTeer and I am the owner and operator of La Joy Truck Creation Design. Before I get started, please make sure that y'all thumbs up this video so that this video can go into rotation for others to view. I would greatly appreciate that. Welcome back my new supporters and my loyal supporters, kings, queens, ladies, and gentlemen, okay? So today, y'all, I'm coming to y'all to talk about the different types of wire that I use. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. This first wire I want to talk to y'all about is called Artistic Wire. And this is Tarnish Resistant Brass. I love, 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 love. I cannot say enough about this wire. Now, I started using this wire right around the time when I first started my YouTube channel, which was in 2016. I'm going to say maybe a year or two after that. So I'm going to say maybe 17 or 18 because I did a video talking about this wire because it was some other wire that I purchased and that I used to get from Joanne's Fabrics, okay? Now, Joanne Fabric does not sell this. You can only find this at Amazon, Hobby Lobby, and Michael. So I purchased this one day, and I was like, I'm just going to try this to see how it works. Now, the one thing that you want to consider when you are making your jewelry is you don't want to buy wire that is going to tarnish that is a no-no, okay? Now, what I mean by that is you do have some wire that will tarnish, like, for instance, sterling silver and copper. They will tarnish. But the thing about sterling silver and copper is that you can, you can put them in some solution, you can clean them, and those wires will come back to life. You have some wires that once they... The color started changing. They start fading. That is the way that they are because it's not a good quality of wire. So you want to make sure that you have good quality wire. Now, when you're first starting to do any type of wire wrapping or anything like that, if you are, if you are new to the game, do not buy the expensive stuff. Get the cheap stuff. Learn what you need to learn from the cheap stuff. And then you can upgrade and buy what you really need. So this right here is tarnish resistant brass. This is the best of the best of the best. You can wire wrap this stuff. You can make whatever you want to make with it and it will not tarnish. You can make jewelry from it one year and five years later, it will still look good. So this is a good buy. Now I have some other wire that I do purchase from amazon.com and those are my copper wire. Now 20 gauge copper wire. This is these are the people who makes it. It's called Made in the USA Craft Wire and this is 20 gauge. This is definitely a must have, okay? Now you have some copper wires that is a that's a soft copper wire you have flat copper wire you have round copper wire you have a hard copper wire wire that you can buy that's hard Let's see see i'm i use so much of this stuff y'all but this is the 20 okay and this is pretty much soft see how i'm bending it you do have some wires that you can get and you got to make sure that you pay attention to when you purchase any type of wire, make sure you pay attention and read it to see whether or not if it's soft, hard, soft, or soft, hard, or hard, or however, make sure you pay attention to the writing, okay? You don't want to order something that you don't, that you can't use, and then you lost your money on it. But this is called Craft Wire. This is 20 gauge. And this is one of the companies that I purchased from. And I also purchased it in 14 gauge from this company. And I don't have any more on here because I, I use it all. Okay. Now, I do. There is another. Now, this here is 10 gauge copper wire. This is the master of all masters. Now, this here is good for making bracelets. 
pretty much more so for making bracelets and wire wrapping gems on here and all that good stuff, okay? This wire is pretty hard to work with, okay? It's really, really stiff, all right? And it's 10 gauge, and I think you just get five yards. It is a little pricey. I think it's like $20, okay? It's like $20, 20-something, $20 something like that. But you can get this from Amazon.com, okay? Now, like I said, pretty much when you buy any type of 10-gauge copper wire, because that's what this is, this is when you want to start making, like, like I said, bracelets. You can make chokers, necklaces, and all of that using this wire. But it's going to, it gives you a run for your money because it's really, really hard. But it's flexible. But you really got to be about your business when you're using this, okay? The next one, this is something that was gifted to me. I'm not really sure about this uh, I do buy 16 gauge copper wire, but I don't buy it from, and there's no company on this. This was gifted to gifted to me, and um, this is this just says bare copper wire, but it's soft. It's soft. It's manageable. 16 gauge. You get a lot on here, and I'm if I'm not, I, I really don't know. But the one that I normally buy, I usually get it from Craft Fire. And it, let me see, I don't know how much it costs because it's been a while since I bought some 16 gauge, but this is an awesome brand. And what I will say is that any type of copper wire, any type of sterling silver wire that you purchase, it will tarnish, but you can, it can be clean. It can, you can get it back to the normal look, okay? The, the pretty shine and all that good stuff, okay? That's the awesomeness about buying quality wire, all right? The last few items are, these are all brass wire. And this these you can find at Michael's. Now, Michael's didn't used to sell any type of wire, Okay, now Michael sell copper wire, they sell brass wire, but they do not sell sterling silver. They sell copper, they sell wire, and of course they sell the tarnish resistant brass. But um, they're just, this is by B Landing. Um, this is a company now that pretty much have come in to Michael's and um, this is brass, okay? And this is kind of like, it's it's hard. It's not um, it's not really easy to manage. You only get five yards on here, and I believe these were like five or six dollars a piece. And then this is these are this is sixteen gauge, and then I purchased it in twenty gauge for something that, of course, y'all know me and my projects. You get eight yards on here and five yards on these. To me, buying these type of to me, I don't. You don't get your money's worth because you spend like fifteen or sixteen dollars, and you only get fifteen yards. So you 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 make out better if you got on Amazon because on here, this you get. It's a lot on here, y'all. I'm thinking it's a hundred, maybe a hundred feet on here. But it's to me, you get. Go and get your money's worth. Like, go to Amazon. Look and see what Amazon have when it comes to wire or any other company. Um, because you spend five, like I said, five, ten. This is fifteen dollars right here, probably more, and you only get fifteen yards. And that to me is just not enough because I be doing so much. <laughs> I be doing so much. So I just wanted to come to y'all to show y'all basically. Uh, my wires, what I buy, what I choose, what I use. Hopefully, this information will help those of you who are out there and you're new to the wire wrapping, or you may not, it may be something that I may have said that you are just unaware of. So with that being said, I want to say thank y'all so very much for joining me. Please make sure you thumbs up this video so that this video can go into a rotation 
for others to see. Y'all have a wonderful and amazing day, okay? And until my next upload, peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.